Hi, thanks for checking out glyconutrients. What are they? What do they do? Where do they come from? Why do you need them? I'm a big, big, big fan of glyconutrition. Um, I have Lyme disease, and the first time that I started juicing or doing smoothies, I added glyconutrients to that mixture, to that base, and I was basically good the next day. Um, and I don't blame that on glyconutrition. I blame that on like the power of nutrition, you know, and juicing your fruits and vegetables. So from that day on, I've always been a huge fan of smoothies. And you know, my ten cents is if you want life, then you have to put life in you. If you want to feel alive, you want to feel vibrant. If you want life, then you have to put life in you. So over the eight or ten years now that I've been taking glyconutrients. Um, I've learned a few tricks. I've learned a few players I'd like to share those with you. So it, it kind of all started with uh, Manatech and Ambrose uh, or Ambrotose exactly. Um, they are the originators of glyconutrition. Like they came up with the concept, they came up with the math, they came up with the science. You know, they invented it. And it's like a multi level marketing um, platform. And over the years, all their salesmen got a little cute with, you know, what a glyconutrient can do. And um, they not got into trouble, but they had to obviously scale their salesmen way down because it became like a cure-all for, cure for everything. And, you know, the salesman who sold me Amber Toast told me, you know, it's going to cure this, it's going to cure that, it's going to cure this, it's going to cure that. And I know it wouldn't do that, but I thought it would work. You know, it's a better term. So that was 10, 15 years ago. All that stuff's been, you know, cleaned up. So the king of, you know, glycos is Manatech. So you can go to uh, manamotion.com. There's a lot of Manatech out there. So they've got the, the market cornered in a sense for um, you know glyconutrition and they you know they've got 20 or 30 different products here um, they're not all glycos for example uh, but that's where I started I started with Manitech I started with them you know in a the that glyconutrient complex right here Ambrotrose uh, putting pinches of that in a blender and after a while, like uh, like most people, it became a little too pricey. So um, it's not a complex mixture, you know, and it's not a complex theory. You know, what is a glyconutrient? Uh, there's really no such thing as a glyconutrient. What we're talking about here is cells. What do cells communicate with? How do your... Um, cellular colonies communicate with one another how do the killer cells connect to the to the memory cells for example how do the t's connect to the the y's how do, how do the reds talk to the whites like how does all these cellular uh, macrophages how do all these colonies do it and they all kind of talk differently so you know the concept is it's kind of like this you're you're your 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 cell chain is a b c d e f g like an alphabet for example and if you don't eat well if you don't eat correctly if you don't have all the glyconutrients all the 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 essential sugars that are found on the planet if, if you're not eating them at the same time then basically your cells are communicating with one another at like a b c j five three nine they're, they're not actually speaking the same language, so to speak. So when you take a, a glyconutrient, so a glyconutrient is really a food source that your body breaks down into a sugar. And cells communicate with one another using sugar and protein. That's it. Cells communicate with other cells and each other with sugar and protein. So they are there are eight known sugars on the planet. Protein is not a problem. Everybody can get protein. You can get protein in your diet. But you could go to the grocery store, eat the entire grocery store in one night, and you would only get three sugars found on the planet at a grocery store. If you ate the entire grocery store in one night. 
So there are special foods that break down into the eight sugars. And the concept is if you would put those eight sugars in your mouth all at the same time, then your cells would finally communicate with one another. So you'd go from this to this. So the concept is you wouldn't catch colds. Your immune system would serve at its highest and best use. You would function well. You would think well. Your hair would grow well. Um, so what are uses for glyconucins? glyconutrients. Can you take them orally? Uh, absolutely. You can. They're food, so you take them orally. Can you, um, can you buy them in a powdered source? Absolutely. You can buy them in a powdered source. Can you take the powder and throw it in a smoothie? Absolutely. Can you take the powder just in a power and, and take it and use it on your face as a mask? Absolutely. Can you use it as a, as a toothbrush? Absolutely. Can you put it in your hair? Absolutely. So those are the ways that I do it anyhow. I use it like as a toothpaste a lot. Um, I put it in my hair um, probably once every 15 days or so, 10 days or so. You could do it every day. It's not going to hurt you. Um, I'm just lazy. But when I'm on a regimen and I do it like let's say for three months and I do it consistently for three months, my hair gets real wavy, almost turns like another color. Um, grays just kind of disappear. I'm almost 50 years old, so my skin does not look like a 50-year-old skin, and my hair doesn't look like a 50-year-old's hair. I don't dye my hair or do any tricks like that. I don't have to, thank God. Uh, and I, and I, I blame that on glycos, to be honest with you. Um, not the nutrition, glycos. Because my, you know, hair, everybody's dying to have great hair. I've got good hair. I've got good hair from using glycos. So where can you buy glycos? Um, I kind of pulled a bunch of websites for you. So Herbistat.com has glyconutrients on sale. And you have kelp. The ingredients are kelp, fenugreek, shiitake mushrooms, psyllium seed husk, shark cartilage powder, aloe vera, whey protein isolate. Those are your um, glyconutrients, right? Those each one break down into a, uh, a glyconutrient, the eight sugars that are found on the planet. They call them the essential sugars. So Herbistat.com sells it for $39 or $99. Um, I think Manitex sells it for $132 for about 3.5 ounces. Herbistat is uh, about 4.5 ounces for $39. A pound is $99. Uh, I went to another website. It's called Glyconutrition, Glyconutrients, excuse me, dot com. Uh, very similar site, very similar background. They break down the sugars for you. Mannose equals kelp, aloe vera, shiitake mushrooms, and fenugreek. Glucose, kelp, galactose, fenugreek, xylose, kelp, ground psyllium seed, husk. Uh, and then you've got two other sugars that are very hard to pronounce. And and they actually, actually three really, and those kind of can go under another term. And I'll jump on another website. It's called the EssentialSugars.com, and they kind of dummy it down to you for glucose, galactose, fructose, mannose, glucosamine, and galactosamine, neuraminic acid, and xylose, neuraminic acid, and xylose. So they kind of like give a very good detail of what is a glyconutrient, what does each one break down to, and what are the sources of that, organic hen's egg, for example, whey protein. So um, you're going to find on each of these sites kind of like things start to, you know, here's shark cartilage powder, red algae, bovine. Bovine is um, blended or ground up um, bone. So shark cartilage is obviously, you know, in a sense like a bone. Bovine is bovine is chicken or cow, mostly cow. When you say bovine, you're really talking about cow bones ground down. Uh, I like the shark cartilage way over the 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 bone of a cow being um, ground down. 
only because of like mad cow disease. I started to really freak out about like mad cow disease when mad cow was bad. I'm like, I don't want to be taking the bones of of cows. It just was too much at the time. Things have straightened up since, but you know, I'm a bigger fan of shark cartilage basically. So uh, let's look at Foucault, see what they say for Foucault's. Um, trying to find here the food source for Foucault's for them. And uh, they don't really kind of say it here, at least I can't say it. Milk, lactate, 2%, lactose is the sugar. So I don't see it, but on Foucault's you're going to see uh, kelp in a sense. So kelp is the biggie. Kelp breaks down into three different sugars. Mannose, fucose, and uh, glucose. So kelp, um, one of the oldest food sources on the planet, if not, you know, I think chlorella is the origin, you know, old sort. Chlorella is kelp. Kel chlorella is a uh, fresh um, seaweed, fresh water seaweed. So you've got, of that variety, you've got chlorella, spirulina, and kelp. These are like the oldest food groups in the world, chlorella being the original oldest. Chlorella is a food that you could actually just eat and survive. There's enough vitamins and minerals and nutrients and even, and even calories and carbohydrates. In It's the original food source. That's why it's got everything. Um, so, kind of to recap, the way I do um, my glycos is that I put them in a, let's see if Hermistad kind of says it here, yeah, example of a smoothie. So, what I found is, this is kind of interesting, so hopefully you stayed with me this long. Herbs, glycos, nutrients, whatever you want to call these things, are, they're all in a powdered form. So things that are in a powdered form are dead. They have been, you know, literally removed from the source. They are no longer connected to the vine. So if you're, if you're a biblical person, uh, you get in trouble when you're not connected to the vine, for example. So these food sources are not connected to, their, to the vine, to the food source that made them, right? So they're dead. I don't care how you say it, they're dead. So... We all need a power greater than ourselves to activate us. A dead battery cannot charge another dead battery. A dead battery needs a power source greater than itself to jump it, meaning a, a battery that has life in it. Those, the cells, they call them cells literally, in a battery, they have, they've got power in them, right? So what you do is you take living fruits and vegetables, so bananas, apples, mangoes, pineapples, uh, with some yogurt if you want, with some, with some spinach if you want, with a lot of honey. And then you take a couple, what I take is a couple, I use a Herbistat, nine times out of ten, the prices are unbelievable. So I'll take uh, pinches or half a teaspoon, dump it in my blender with pineapples and anything basically in a blender but what happens is this is what I found out over the years the difference between taking it with like just oatmeal or the difference between taking glyconutrients in the powder form in that dead form and putting it in yogurt and mixing it up and eating it I don't feel the same as when I take it in a living you know living breathing apple orange some some something that has cell structure that's still living and I put the living fruits and vegetables in a blender and then take the powder and drop that in, that cell structure that's alive activates those dead herbs. And then you get what you're looking for. You, you get, finally, you get cellular communication that's insane. Like insane. You don't, your fingernails are hard as a rock. Your hair is healthy. You can't get a comb through it healthy. I mean, it's just powerful, thick hair. You, you literally have trouble combing it. Um, so there are some other uh, good herbal companies out there, but you can probably start here. You can go to, I found that Bing has a really good search. If you go to Bing and you put in glyconutrients or the essential sugars, that's what you're going to want to find. So Bing has a better search 
that I found. Uh, so if you go to Bing.com, obviously, and you put in um, you know glyconutrients or the eight essential sugars, they've got a, a, a so that's so um, advertising all the people that pop up, all the websites that pop up are legit versus like just a bunch of spammy, you know, websites that uh, are out there for, you know, clickbait to advertise other things. Hope that helps. Talk to you soon.